Well, howdy folks, good old grass slinger here. Well, a few months ago, I, was, I think it was right in the middle of summer, I got this uh, 1998 Sears from my buddy, and uh, there was no engine in it. It originally had a Kohler, and uh, I had it for a while. It was sitting because I still needed a jet for it, and uh, of course I've been so busy. And uh, lucky I came across a jet in the tool bag just recently. And it, this jet's for the carburetor. And uh, it didn't take very long. I got the engine to run again. What's powering the thing? It's 12 horse industrial commercial brakes of Stratton. But does the engine look familiar? Give up? Well, that's the Craft Dozer's original engine. Sure do miss that thing. Yep. I figured I put it in here, so I got it mounted. Still need to hook up a, a wire from the solenoid to the starter, and then hook up a ground cable and put a battery box in there, and then put a battery in it, then should be able to start it. I'm hoping to install a kill switch too. The only way I can kill this is with a screwdriver, at least for now. But it's better than nothing. And I don't have the proper throttle cable, so I Borrowed the throttle cable off of the 94 Sears. You probably remember that thing too. But yeah, I even had to borrow the gas tank off of it too because it was also missing. Tie rod's a little bent, so I gotta take it off, straighten it, or put a different tie rod on it. And of course, it's a hydrostatic transmission, so that's really awesome. Of course, it's got the big rear wheels, kind of like Dark Horse. Number two and number three. Yeah, the tractor may not look very pretty, but what the heck? I got it as a for, for a horse around tractor. It's nice to have the, the brush guard up front. Well, there you go, my '98 Sears lawn tractor. So y'all have a good day. Bye bye.